Hi there, my name is Darren Chupp with Chupp Industrial in Shoto, Oklahoma. Uh, we sell a wide variety of industrial equipment and construction equipment. Uh, one of our product lines is skid steer attachments. We've sold over 500 skid steer attachments both locally and all over the United States over the last couple of years. Uh, our skid steer attachments come pre-wired, pre-lubed, uh, pre-inspected and ready for service. Uh, a lot of our customers purchase the skid steer attachment from us and take it directly to the job site. So um, we do our best to uh, have everything ready to go uh, once you make your purchase or your purchase is delivered to you uh, as we do ship uh, coast to coast. Uh, today we're shooting a video. We're gonna show you how we wire up a land honor hydraulic powered uh, concrete mixer, uh, skid steer attachment. Uh, the land owner skid steer attachment uh, features a, a very heavy duty design. It's got a hydraulic powered uh, paddle mixer for mixing the concrete. Um, it also has a secondary hydraulic function uh, to open and close the slide chute on the bottom here. And so the purpose of this video is to show you how we wire up to control that secondary function uh, to operate the slide gate. Uh, you've got your hydraulic connections that are going to your skid steer and uh, by default those are going to power the paddle mixer to mix up the concrete. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready to discharge the concrete there is a manual side uh, chute that can, that can be used. There's also the hydraulic controlled bottom chute. So to uh, achieve the operation of the chute, what we have to do is we have to supply a 12 volt power source to this solenoid here. And what happens when we apply 12 volts to this solenoid, it will divert the flow of fluid away from the paddle mixer and divert fluid to the hydraulic cylinder to open and close the gate so the concrete could be discharged. Uh, those operations will be performed from your auxiliary controls on your joystick in the cab of your machine. And uh, we are, we pre-wire all of our attachments for universal operation. So whether you've got a machine that was made in the 1980s, uh, as long as it has uh, auxiliary hydraulic connection to actually power the machine. Uh, you do not need the 7 or 14 pin connector on your machine that comes with a lot of the newer machines. Uh, if you do have that uh, OEM electrical auxiliary connector, it can be used with this attachment as well as many others and use the uh, OEM wiring and controls that are already integrated into your machine. Uh, however, we choose to do a universal uh, operation method. So like I said before, when you receive your attachment, you can take it directly on the job site, put it to work. You're not gonna have to be trying to figure out how to wire it up uh, or anything like that. So right here in front of me, we have uh, the components that go into wiring this machine. We've got a single button controller right here. Uh, this will control the opening and closing of your slide chute on the bottom. We've got some electrical, electrical tape and connectors here. Um, we also have an option, uh, an additional option is a powered battery pack. Uh, I'm going to show you how to wire the 12 volts to your machine and then we'll circle back to this battery, uh, battery pack here in just a minute. Uh, over here on the machine, on our solenoid, your, your machine's gonna come looking just like this. This is what we call a DIN connector. There's a single screw here that tightens and loosens. So we've loosened the screw off already and our connector pulls off like so. I'm gonna move this over here to my bench and we're gonna wire this connector up. <clears throat> so this is our connector. We've got wires that are already pre-stripped. If they're not stripped, you just need to strip them back. We use butt splices, and 
we are going to butt splice our DIN connector to our button controller. Now, Darren, does it matter which wire goes to which wire from the remote here to the wires on your DIN connector? Uh, the DIN connector is, the solenoid itself is not polarity, sens polarity sensitive, so you can connect your wiring to either wire and it will function properly. So there is no mixing up your positive or your negative, so do not be concerned about that. Okay, I'm going to pull this closer to me here now. Um, we've got our DIN connector wired up. I'm going to give it a tug, make sure it's good and snug. So what we do then is we tape this connector right here up to keep moisture out. Um, we're careful to tape up over the connector so we don't get moisture back up inside of the connector there. Additionally, once we've taped that connector up, we use a bit of this wire loom protector to go over it. Just helps beef it up a little bit. Um, this can be purchased at any local hardware store. Uh, you could also choose to add this wire protector down the length of your wire to give it more protection. This wire is going to run from the front uh, of your skid steer where your attachment's located back into the cab of your machine. So there's quite a length of wire here. Uh, and so this button here is going to be located inside your cab where you're going to control the switching on and off of your slide gate on the bottom of the attachment. So now that we wired up our DIN connector, we can connect it back, simply plugging it in, tightening this screw. That part is complete. So now we have to supply a 12 volt power source to that solenoid to make it operate. So standard, this is how you will receive your machine. You'll have two wires here. They're labeled 12 volts. So you do have a positive and a negative here. Um, you'll need to find a 12 volt power source on your machine. Uh, a lot of times you can find that uh, with your cigarette lighter or uh, other spots. You may have to remove some panels inside of your machine and to wire in the 12 volt power source. Uh, you can also run this directly off the battery on your machine. Uh, you'll need a way to connect and disconnect it though. So one way around that, a little bit easier solution that we offer is this battery pack. This battery pack has been designed to supply a 12 volt power source to control the operation of the solenoid. So this battery pack has, uh, we attach magnets to it so it can be fixed directly to your machine. We have a pre-wired plug that will connect into your battery pack like so. We have Deutsch plug connectors that's wired into your battery pack. Now for this type of operation then, we would wire uh, up the other end of our connector to our control button to supply the 12 volt power source. Plug in to our 12 volt power support, power supply, turn the battery pack on. Now we would be supplying 12 volts of power to our solenoid. So now that when we hit the auxiliary functions on our joystick inside the cab of our machine, we're gonna now be opening and closing the slide chute on the bottom. Uh, during normal operation, sometimes the concrete can be a little hard to discharge uh, just naturally. So you'll wanna hit the auxiliary function inside your skid steer which varies, it's different buttons on different machines. Um, if you need help figuring that out, of course you can always call us for any questions. Uh, so during normal operation, once your concrete's mixed, you wanna hit your auxiliary 
uh, function on your skid steer to open the slide chute. You can switch back inside the cab of the machine to turn your paddle back on and running that paddle while you're trying to discharge is going to help get all that material out of the concrete mixer uh, itself. Um, again, this attachment as well as all the attachments we sell are designed to be used on any brand make and model of skid steer uh, out there. So if you've got an older machine, uh, don't worry about it. So we've got, uh, we do this with all of our machines. We, we wire them up for universal operation. Uh, again, the battery pack is, uh, is an add-on that we do offer. It's a very inexpensive, uh, efficient, quick option to get you up and running. So um, we've got a cord to charge your battery pack. And um, anyway, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to show you how we wire up the Land Honor concrete mixer. If you guys have any questions, comments, uh, please call us. Our number's right here on the board. So thank you. Have a good day.